wouldn't be surprised that they go all the way to Buffelshoek Dam this morning and end up then resting in that area because that's where they're heading is they're heading in sort of now a north easterly direction towards Buffelshoek Dam side so I'm sure that's where they're going to end up. So, mister, you're wondering how many lions there are in Kruger right now. Well, I mean, it's obviously it's a difficult number to know for exactly how many there are, but they think that there are about two and a half thousand lions in the greater Kruger National Park system. So that's what they estimated at. It's obviously a difficult number to know because lions are not easy to count from the air, and that's how they generally do their census, is from the air itself. So when you've got a situation where you're trying to count from a helicopter or a plane, sometimes you can miss lions. So it's like a plus minus figure of two and a half thousand so it's still quite a good healthy population of lions that we have in this area now our elephants have made it a little bit difficult here because there's lots of ditches everywhere where they've dug up for roots from last year's drought oh, now we're going back into this monkey orange I was hoping we were going to head away from it but it seems that they're going to drag us straight back through it Shazan, you're wondering how many coalitions there are in the Sabi Sands. Well, let's go through them because I've never actually counted them all. So let's start with the Birmingham boys. So that's one. Then you've got the Majingalans. You've got the Charlestons. We've got these new males that are down in the south, which I forget the name, but that's now already four. Then we've got... Well, the Salala boys are not really a coalition just yet, so we can't count them. The Matimbas, every now and then they make an appearance. That's five. Um, there's the two Avaka males that have been hanging around the west. That's six. Um, then the two males on Mala Mala, I also forget their names. So that's now seven. So that's, I think, about it. Seven of them. That's that are all big males that are pretty much starting to sort of do dominate and have territories. In terms of young males, there's quite a few younger males that are still around as well. Girls, are you going to stop today, or is this just going to be a day where you're going to walk all day long? You can see why the Nkuma Pride can be tough to track down. You can see how far we've gone, and we've not spent much time on a road at all. So we can count ourselves very lucky that we managed to find them on the road this morning, because otherwise we would have been tracking them through lots of thickets, trying to just keep up with them, and they are still going. You can see every chance they get, the cubs lie down to try and rest, but the females are just dragging them further and further and further. And sometimes it can be hard to be a cub when mom tells you it's time to walk and you don't want to and I suppose they rather than being left behind they'll try and keep up let's carry on and see if we can't get around you're wondering about the Mapokos and if there's any descendants left well yes they're the um, I'm not sure Sure, Shamungwe Pride was Majingalans. Um, there is Solo the, from the Salala Pride, who's a dominant male inside the Kruger. He's from the Mopokos, I think. Um, other than that, no, not really. There are. I don't know, there's people out there that have followed the Mapokos a bit more. I sort of lost touch a little bit with their lineage since I left the central parts because that's where the Mapokos were most dominant. But there could be one or two. Uh, maybe somebody out there that can help us. I know there's lots of you that follow the lions and especially the Mapokos intensely and they'll know exactly who are the daughters. But I know the Ottawa Pride are definitely daughters for the Mapokos. But other than that, I don't think there's too many. The Mapokos, funny enough, were not successful when it came to raising lots of cubs. They ended up killing each other's cubs all the time and it was not a very successful coalition in terms of growing the numbers in the Sabi Sands. They killed a lot of lions but they didn't actually contribute much to the actual sort of um, sustainable population of lions. Whereas the Majingalans have been far better. The Majingalans have many, many offspring inside the Sabi Sands but Mapokos not so much.